All right, so redid the uh, the surface mount for the U4E prom, and we'll see if it works. Uh, I know it's hard to see the camera quality is horrible, but right here is the main problem of the defective 3D TVs from Sony, which this is the uh, Tetic Z EV1 new model with the um, the OA E1 logic board. So we'll go ahead and assemble and see if it's repaired. All right, I know the screen's pretty smudgy, but I'll wipe it off in a little bit and we will do a quick test and uh, we'll see if if it's resolved. All right, so we'll go ahead and just load up a quick profile. Uh, the room's a wreck, but it's okay. We'll just run a quick test and then we'll clean up and reorganize the area. I know TV sideways, I got it in my chair, so for future reference. So we went ahead and replaced the EEPROM chip. And we'll go ahead and turn this off. Now, the issue was the TV would go unresponsive and get stuck in standby mode after it doesn't detect the console or a video source. So after you turn it off, Basically, you gotta wait for the board to discharge fully, and then it would respond again, which takes about a week, which was obviously a big issue for its usage. So we'll go ahead and power it off. We got the blue light. And the green standby, no signal, awesome. And the issue is resolved. So I am ecstatic because um, I really got screwed on the warranty for this when I first bought it. And um, Sony told me, even though I ordered it online through them, they said basically I needed a physical receipt, which I didn't have because I had a digital receipt. So obviously I wasn't going to pay $200 for some guy to repair. And um, surface mounts are a pain in the ass when it comes to soldering. So uh, that chip was very small and a pain in the ass, but it's done. I'm happy, and I will be using this as my uh, my main PlayStation gaming source again and enjoy my 3D gaming in the future. I'll just do one more quick check. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, so uh, I'll see you guys on the stream.